Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> well, we have the solution for you. And that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, July the 21st to July the 23rd, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your now six favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips techniques and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art, you'll be taking away art with you and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a meet and greet, gala dinner and rap party. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. How do we say it? Well, hello there, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, hello there. Hey, guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Who's now 50 years old, people. <laughs> um, this is a really fun episode. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited about it, too. You always are. <laughs> um, in this episode, we're going to have another go using the paintpourstore.com's wonderful magnetized spinny contraption yes and this time we're going to do it right yeah um so thank you so much to the guys at paintpourstore.com well done again congrats on the arrival of your little baby um but we are going to use these correctly we're going to use bigger canvases as well yes so that you can see just how this contraption works yeah and we're going to use bottle bottoms we are going to use bottle bottoms something we've never done before no nope. it's actually really in honor of our dear friend mentor first person to shout us out ever and fellow artiste at the fluid art experience marcy, marcy. Mixed, mixed media, media girl. girl yeah she was she does these all the time yeah it's fair to say she loves a bottle bottom and she'll do them on top of vases on canvases all sorts of things yes yeah. we thought we'd have a go yeah yeah are you excited i'm excited i can't wait to do it me too um we're gonna play around with some colors play around with some paint yeah. mix things up a little bit we'll see you at the table See you at the table. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I am so excited about today's pour. <laughs> yeah. Of course you are. <laughs> now what I'm excited about is, is that we have some of the paint pour stores uh, products here that are amazing. We have this bottle bottom cup that we're gonna be using today in today's mm -hmm. pour and it has these amazing like notches in it that the paint's gonna flow down on. Right. But we're also using the spinner that they have. Right. And it is magnetic, so what happens is, is that the last time we did this, we mm. didn't use it right. We did not. They sent no. me a very sweet message saying, yes. what a wonderful pour, but no, you yes. got it wrong. So what happens is, is that you measure the middle of the canvas and you Fix pull it. this, yeah, you pull this to the right length and then you screw it down right. into the canvas. So that way, and these are all magnets, so that way whenever you go to turn it over and, and place it down onto the spinner, the magnets stick to this in a perfect square and it's it perfectly place. centered. That thing is never going to fly off there now. It's no. impossible for that thing to no. move. Just every, so everyone knows, it's really easy to screw those screws in. It's just yeah. one simple screw on either it's side. It's so easy. And the spinner comes with, I think, one or two of the kits to go up to canvases up to like 12 and 14 inches. But you can buy extra kits because the canvas I'm going to do is 20 inches long. Yeah. So you can kind of extend it out. Yes, exactly. Now, we've never done a bottom bottom, bottle bottom before. We have not done a bottle bottom before. It's because of it's one very special person that we're doing this. Yes. Marcy. Exactly. Yes. Mixed, Mixed media, media girl. girl. Does bottle bottoms all the time and they're she always does. stunning. So we were just watching some of her content. Marcy yeah. is one of the other tutors at the Fluid Art Experience. Yes, she sure is. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. I know, she is, she is amazing. Can I just say, yes. 350,000 followers on her YouTube channel, 250,000 followers on her Facebook, Facebook. page, 30,000 on her TikTok, I mean, she's a social media genius. Yes. Um, so yeah. if you want to spend some time talking to someone who knows their shizzle, Marcy's the girl for you. Marcy is the girl. Yes, she is. 
And now, so I have this cup. Mm. What am I gonna do with this cup? I have no clue. I'm going to layer this cup with these paints I'm already introduced to you. Okay. And then I'm going to ring pour on top of this bottle bottom. Huh, I'm excited for this. Yes. Because we've never done this before. No. And we forgot to tell everyone, but I'm sure we've already said it, that this is a who did it better. Yes, this is a who did mm -hmm. it better. Because we're both doing bottle bottoms. Mm -hmm. So I love a good competition. <laughs> so some of the colors that I will be using are Show Pony by TLP. Of course. You can no longer <laughs> never use it. We have Ocean Green. And that's a master's touch if I'm Tis not, indeed. yeah, I'm not mistaken. We have Deco Arts Pewter. Pewter. Pewter, which I, I thought was a very interesting cho uh, choice for this. All color, these colors are interesting yes. choices, show pony. Um, now this pink, I'm not quite sure I about. I think it's called Light Rouge. Light Rouge. Also by Master's Touch. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you for that. Um, this one right here is that Phalo Turquoise, Turquoise. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By Golden. By Golden. With, with, and it's actually got some Vallejo Pearl Medium in it. It has Vallejo, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It has the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And of course, some, uh, this is the Soft Golden Hour. Golden Hour. Yes. <laughs> Pearl Golden Hour Gold. Girl, your yes. dementia's rubbing off on me today. We're <laughs> <laughs> both as bad as each other. <laughs> okay, so let's get to layering my cup. Do it. And are you, how are you laying? Are you gonna layer, layer? Are you going to dirty pour? What's the plan? I'm gonna layer, layer. I love that plan. Yes. Go for it. So I'm gonna start out with some of this golden hour. Golden hour. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of that. Now you will notice the consistency of the paints here, peeps. This is the same consistency that you need to use when you use the leaky cup. Yes. Marcy, mixed media girl, uses her already pre-mixed pouring paints Everything you can get, Mixed Media Girl, you can get at www.mixedmediagirl.com. Yes. Um, but it has a, a runnier consistency than our everything else pouring consistency, but it's not quite as thin as a Dutch pour. Yes, so it's, exactly. It's kind of our everything else consistency with a little bit of water added. Because what you really want to happen is these colors to just slip and slide. Exactly. I want it known officially on camera that I think this color choice is dangerous and crazy. He's putting greens and pinks next to each other like he just don't care. <laughs> and he has the definite opportunity of this just turning to absolute mud on the canvas. But the difference between the show pony and I when it comes to fluid art is that this fool is very brave. Some will say stupid, but he says brave. And he just throws caution. To, look at that. Look how easily he just put that green on that pink there. Like, like it was just, like he didn't even care. And that's <laughs> how he pours people at home. Yes, that with is how. With bravado, with bravery, and a nonchalant care for color theory and all things normal. Absolutely. But it's a wonderful layered cup. Thank you. I can't wait to see this mud. I, mud, I didn't mean mud. I mean these beautiful <laughs> colors <laughs> on top of this canvas. <laughs> Okay guys, I got my deliciously layered cup here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see, mud or no mud? Exactly, that is the question. That is the question. So I'm gonna get started. I'm really excited about this. Well, I poured that pretty terribly. I actually don't agree. Really? Yeah, I think it's really interesting because I kind of like the fact that you've got different colors in the petals and I, I, I actually don't think you poured it terribly at all. Okay. Yeah. Now, Marcy will now remove the cup from the canvas. Okay. Let me give you some paper just like you, do, you would do with a, with a leaky cup. That's it, and allows those paints to kind of sink back into the middle. Which they are, now, as you can see. If you need help, you can push your finger in there, but I think you've got a perfect weight of paint just falling back in on itself. Yeah. One thing Marcy also does do, which yes. is what Fiona does with her flowers, is she'll take a, a popsicle stick and actually extend the lines out. 
Got it. So she'll go from the center and come out. Now that is not mandatory, clearly. That's just like wrecking the rings. It's totally up to you whether you want to do that. I don't know, I kind of like it like this. Well, then I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with it. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is just put a flow extender down. Yes. guys so you know what time it is right now i i, I will I, I camera apologize for th hurtling a stick at you which then jumped <laughs> up off the table onto your composition but we are yes. convinced it was probably going to get tilted off anyway probably uh what time is it it is spinning time it is it's time to spin <laughs> me around go for it right, here we go Wow, you guys, this turned out incredible. And you don't get to see where my popsicle stick lands. Exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> and no mud here. Absolutely no mud. Okay. But this turned out beautiful. I'm loving all the colors are represented. Yeah. yeah uh, it's... I, I'm genuinely excited about the pink and the yellow and the turquoise. Yeah, and me okay. too. All right, I'm going to get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Yes. Jeremy, what a super cute and very successful spin out well, thank on a you. bottle bottom. Thank you. So who did it better is always using the same technique and seeing who did it better. Yes. But we are going to slightly mix this one up a little bit. We didn't have another square canvas that was 14 by 14, so I'm going to use the 20 by 20s, but it gives me then the opportunity to explain how this contraption works with the bigger. Yeah contraptions on the back. If you can see, this one expands out to 24 inches in total. Same kind of setup again, it's just screwed into the edge of the canvas real easily. The magnetic bottom fits on the magnetic spinner, just like that, and then it can spin real easily. So genuinely a very, very simple, but Porsche-like design. Yeah. This is also their bottle bottom, and if you use Massey 15 in the uh, check out when you go to check out you will receive a 15% discount on everything that you purchase so Massey Art I'm sorry Massey Art is the discount code all right so um, first actually before I get to my bottle bottom I'm going to use the paintpourstore.com jug four chamber I think that this is 32 ounces it is a beast of yeah. jug but I'm going to use it because I've got a 22, 20 by 20 inch canvas. Yes. So I want something a little sizable. Exactly. All right. So these are the colors I'm using. This is the Aqua Green by Master Touch. And I'm going to put the Aqua Green in the far, far chamber of this split cup. <coughs> nice. Yes. This is primary orange yes and this is liquitex bakers basics which i love or bakix love if, that if orange. you're saying it like i just said it 
Liquitex Bay Cakes. This is Primary Red, also by Liquitex Basics. Delicious. And then primary, primary yellow. I cannot <laughs> speak today. Primary yellow in this chamber. Now this one has been mixed with a little bit of golden hour. Yeah. I took a little bit of golden hour from nice. your show pony and I put it in nice. there. Now, I don't know if you remember, you might not have seen it, but I did a rainbow pride kind of spin out. And what I did was put a little bit of black on the edge of my cup because it helped me create highlights ah. through the colors. So I'm going to do the same thing. Now this isn't black. This is actually primary blue with some Payne's gray mixed on it. So it looks black, but it's a real midnight blue color. But I'm just going to pour it right in the, this kind of the spout area of my split cup, just like that. Nice. Just to see if that gives me anything interesting in this design. I, it might not. It might do nothing at all, but I'm going to put it there just in case. So, pony of the show. Yes. I'm going to just put this right here and I'm going to pour this one out on top, doing the same thing that you did. I am also going to do a ring pour and I'm going to pour right in the center of this beautiful bottle bottom contraption, if that's okay. All right, ladles and jelly spoons at home, let's get to this. Oh, I'm kind of loving what happened and I thought about spinning it as it was coming out because then I kind of got the mixture of the colors all the way through the petals. But um, let's see what happens as we pick this one up, tilt it out, spin it out. Yeah. Uh, first off, let's grab this bottle bottom, lift her straight up. Or maybe I'll twist as I lift it up. Huh. Nice. Let's let those colors sink into each other in the center. I like how you spun it like that. Yeah? Yeah. Get that twisty effect. Mm -hmm. Do you Stray from a party. And now let's add a flow extender. We're all on a roll tonight. Women be sparky. All the men be All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now what I was going to do was take a popsicle stick and kind of like wreck the lines. What do you think, Show Pony? I think it's totally cool as it is. I kind of feel that way too now that I see it. I'm kind of a little gun shy. Yeah. Of kind of like, you know, following the lines. But I feel like there's such wonderful squiggles. I feel like it would be cool, but... I think it would ruin the effect of the squiggle. The, the yeah. All right. I kind of I see what I see what you mean by that. So I, I am also in agreement. I think I'm going to leave it. I recentered it just ever so slightly to get make sure that I've kind of got a somewhat central composition. Yeah. Not going to spin this one out with a strength of ten men because it's almost overhanging over the table, <laughs> and I fear that I would get paint everywhere. However, we are going to spin this one out and see what happens. Yes. Show pony. What time is it? You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. It's now spinning time. Let's spin this one out. Club until the morning break. Moving your body. Talking to my soul. And I got all my sisters to the right.
That's amazing. Um, kind of in love with it. Yeah, totally. I, I'll be honest, folks. I went into this thinking, well, this is going to be fun, but I really didn't think it was going to create anything soups wonderful. But Jeepers Creepers, I really love the motion in this one. Oh, yeah. I really love how the colors stayed real true. Um, you can see every single color on here, maybe bar the orange, but there's little flashes of it here and there. Um, I thought using the black was interesting, but I don't necessarily think it added much to the center of the composition, which got spun out. But even so, there's no color correction on this camera and you can see just how much this pops. Um, I love it. I'm just touched it off. I'm gonna get my edges. Let me take you guys in for a close up. Yes. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Well, okay, first things first, I've got to say, I love yeah. that blooming spinner. Yes, Right, totally. it's been able to spin a 20 by 20 and go up to as high as 24 by 24s yeah. without any worries. Pretty gosh darn awesome. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Thank you again, guys. The paintballstore.com is one of our sponsors for the Fluid Art Experience, and they've given us a motorized spinner. I know. Which we will be using before the event so we can show you. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It means you can just control it and spin this thing out. Callum Schaub style. That's awesome. So talk, talk to me about your bottle bottom, your oh my gosh. 14 by 14 square. Wow, I, I was just amazed at what happened with it. Um, the colors just like exploded as it spun out. They did. And I just, I love that pink and yeah, it just, it all worked. It's very reminiscent me for me of the Leaky Cup, although yeah. the Leaky Cup promotes more blending for sure. Yeah. You definitely got a lot of like really beautiful lines in yeah. yours. Neither of us wrecked them, no. because I think we were too scared to, but there's so much you can do with these bottle bottoms. Yeah. Straight pour, ring pour, all sorts. Loved it. I loved mine. Loved yours. Pouring it out of the split, the four chamber split cup, bringing it onto the bottle bottom, then spinning it. Yeah, really fun. Yeah, yours came out incredible. And all that yellow, I was, you know, I was a little worried it was gonna go a little kind of awry, but the colors were thick and they kept real true. Yeah. They did, you Lots. had amazing lines on yours. I don't, thank you, I re yeah. both really did. Lots of fun with this. So, you can grab that spinny contraption and the bottle bottoms from paintpourstore.com. Mm -hmm. You can also get the handled split cups and all their other products too. Yeah. One thing I would say is Marcy, mixedmediagirl.com, you yeah, need to go book her classes because I know she is doing a bottle bottom class yeah. and they're awesome. She's also got her own line of paints, which is a pouring consistency that's perfect for yeah. bottle bottoms. So um, if you haven't put classes with Marcy, please, please, please do get them in because she's a wonderful teacher and she's got some fantastic contraptions for you. Yeah. That is it, folks. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for being with us on this Sunday. It was really, really fun. I know there's a train. Gina will definitely be going after us. Uh -huh. I think the huge, big collaboration trains have all now but expired. So we'll be back to some regular viewings. Yeah. Um, Tuesdays and Sundays for us are definitely going to be here and we'll throw in some pouring the teas when we can. Yeah. Guys, you have a great day. And um, listen, we'll see you very soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll, we'll catch you very soon. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. So what's a Patreon? What is a Patreon? I'll let me tell you. So the Patreons are a very special group of people. They are. They are here with us chatting all the time in the lives. You'll see them and you'll know these names as we run through them. But they want to have a little bit of an extra support, a little bit of an extra yeah. look at what goes on behind the scenes. So our Patreon account, completely separate. And at certain different levels, you get different perks. Yes. So at the bronze and silver levels, for example, you might get sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos, yeah. things that happen behind the scenes in the studio. Yeah. 
At the gold level, you get that plus you also get a live stream once a month. Yes. Access to a WhatsApp group where we all sit and chat and yeah. kind of just so much fun. Talk about pieces and yeah. exchange motivations and color theory and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. And then at the platinum level, you get all of that, and then you also get a live tutorial, tutorial. once a month. Yep. So lots and lots of really fun stuff that isn't necessarily what you get to see on the YouTube account, um, but it is something a little separate. Yes. So we have some special thank yous to do. Yeah. For our gold pourers, we have Crafty Chicken Mom, Amy. You've got Elizabeth Gilano. Yeah. Gillian Kennedy. You've got Gloria Salaki. Yeah. You've got Jane Klein. Uh -huh. Kelly Stowell. Yeah. Or Feral Arts. <laughs> You've got Kirsten Blackley. You've got Linda Seriani. Yep. We've got Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. We've got Patsy Petrelli, yep. the Pocket Rocket. We've got Nate Bright, who you all know and love, has got his own channel. Mm -hmm. You've got Sharon Luffy. Stephanie Hancock. Stephanie Hancock. With those hugs. We've got Tammy Hasbrook. We have Terry Leshner. And we have Trisha West. Yes. And? And in the platinum level, we have the awesome Elaine Burton. Super awesome. Yes. We have Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve mm -hmm. Pittman. We have Susan Chigori. Oh my gosh, she's bought so many pieces from us. <laughs> I know, I know. Her walls are covered in our I know. And we have Susan Shepperson. Oh my goodness, you all know Susan. Susan Shepperson, she's at every single premiere. Yeah. So thank you, Susan. We see you all know that. Yes. And to all of you guys and everyone else that you'll see here down below, we really, really, really do appreciate you. It is with your support that we keep our stocks of canvases and paint coming. Yeah. And it really does mean that we can just continue throwing up content for you all. I know. So thank Thank you so very much guys you guys truly are the best it helps us so much it really does thank you guys